Cathy's here now. Good morning oh. and welcome to you. I know it is <laughs> such a sad storyline. It really is. But it's been... I guess the, the symptoms and the signs of this, I think from September were coming in and it started originally where she was treated for, for the panic attacks. Yeah. That's what they thought it might be to do with that. Yes, and uh, again, they came out of nowhere. It wasn't triggered by an event, it wasn't stress at work, there wasn't anything. She just found herself having panic attacks. Yeah. And, 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 and as you saw her talking to Bill, you know, suddenly somebody came back into her life that she ends up leaning on as mm. opposed to Charlie. Well, Charlie's very, obviously, very busy. Uh, yeah. He's been a very high-profile job, lots of responsibility. Um, and then uh, you've got Bill, who comes in, childhood sweetheart. Mm. And they did have that one-night stand. Yes, yes, in that boutique hotel. Yes. Yes, and again, you see, this is all, in a way, I think, from what I've understood with the writers, this is symptomatic because it's behaviour changes mm. as well. So you're getting some memory loss, you're getting the anxiety, which is diagnosed with mm. antidepressants. But things aren't adding up for her. And yes, she, yeah, I'm sure there was some alcohol around that evening with Bill, but, uh, it, but it's out of character. You yeah. do get the sense of the way, the way this is being played is, mm. that, is that she feels really quite alone here. She, she's used to looking after other people. Yes. And now it's her... And she can't really deal yeah, with that. And she hasn't got patient. Charlie to lean on. Yeah, you know, I think this is the work that the, the writers have done. And um, they also uh, talked to Wendy Mitchell, who brought out the book Somebody I Used to Know, who charted her own um, sort of journey and early onset dementia. And what's happened with how they've structured it in the show, because Charlie is so busy, she's working on the night shift, he's working on the day shift. So they're parallel lives. And uh, she's not leaning on him. And she does find herself incredibly isolated with all of this and, and no one to share it with, not, you know, and, and it's... Again, I suppose there must be an area where you go into denial. You think, oh, that was just a one-off. Yeah. And it's when things... Uh, there was a fall that mm. she couldn't explain. Mm. And um, naughtily, Charlie says, oh, do a bit of tele-shopping on, on the iPad. But she actually goes into self-diagnosis. And up come half a dozen options from her symptoms. And actually, I mean, from that clip we just saw there, it was like, in my opinion, he thinks I have. Yes. We haven't actually had any sort of confirmation of this Yeah, yet. there is a little bit of ambiguity around this because, as I say, you know, all these symptoms can be diagnosed with... Other things. Other things. Um, but I think she is, you know, she's in a very... She's a nurse. She's, it's a highly responsible position. Mm. And we've seen that be affected as well. I mean, there's been those moments where she has made nearly made a fatal mistake at work. Yes, and that's why when, you know, Charlie says, um, let's keep this just between us, and her instinct, as you can tell, she's telling him, and it's, it's so sad because they don't get together with her telling him. She tells him as her... His, he's her boss. She doesn't tell him as her husband. Mm. Yeah, that is sad. We've got... Um, for you, I mean, you've been... I think your first appearance was in 1986. Yeah. To get storylines like this, is this one of the toughest ones that you've had, do you think? Oh, it's undoubtedly the toughest, yeah. you know? And one of the things... I mean, it's a bittersweet... Um, storyline in a way mm. as a performer because obviously this the show is responsible um, everything is based in fact that we put on the screen for a guest character or for a regular and people are going through a lot of the issues that we show in their lives yeah. they've taken a lot of care um, they've consulted Dementia UK and so they've played it out very slowly. Mm. I think the writing has been so careful and well, so Well, you got thoughtful. nominated for a BAFTA this morning, didn't you? Congratulations. The show's nominated well, this morning. Once again, congratulations. Whoop, whoop, that's very good. There's one thing I did, I did just want to ask, because um, obviously people change over time, characters change over time. Mm. Accents change over time. I know where you're going. So could you actually explain what <laughs> happened to that accent? Oh well, there? I think it travelled all over my West country, didn't it? My <laughs> lover. I mean, okay, hands up. This is my first telly. I had never done telly. I've done coughs and spits and tiny little bits, but you blink and miss me. Suddenly, you're in, you know, Saturday night, jewel in the ground TV, and one of the sort of most inexperienced actors, and they ask her to do an accent. Oh dear. I mean, yeah. well, the accent was, was bad. It's just that it disappeared. Yeah. Well, yes. 
because we've got a new producer. And he said, well, Duffy's been listening to loads of Radio 4 and we're... we're... <laughs> <laughs> and I went, OK, OK, because it meant I could be like this. Oh, and, um, my hilarious. goodness. Much easier, much easier. Um, well, um, we, uh, we love it. We love we her. We do, we do. And we'll, we'll catch, see what happens with her and we, with whether or not she gets that diagnosis in the end. Casualty Saturday at 8.25 on BBC One. And thank you very much. Lovely to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.